down there, yeah. then we'll be good. Either if way, not, the rope will reach, though. And I think that's a good line, though, you think, from the split rock down that canyon? Yeah, I think we'll be able to get there, Diego. High in the Mojave Desert, scientists have a new eye on golden eagles. What they're learning will help with the placement of new green energy developments in the future. We're doing a, a large-scale eagle study across the Mojave Desert, and we're looking specifically at diet of nesting golden eagles. Really, no one knows what golden eagles are eating out in the desert, and so this is kind of a preliminary study, a baseline study, to try to, to understand what diet is for golden eagles in the Mojave Desert. The scientists are focusing on 16 golden eagle nests across the Mojave Desert, where they're installing motion-activated nest cams. Getting to these eagle nests, perched on the edge of cliffs, is not so easy. We set up our, our two anchors with a, a main line and then a safety line. So I'm clipped into the main line and also the safety line, and I'll rappel off both those lines. The nest is about 15, 20 feet. After that lip, you just rappel over the lip, down to the nest. To the scientist, that looks like this. We're gonna figure out then when, where to install the camera, on the right side or left side, maybe on the roof, to give us the best shot. So right now, we're just trying to get it all lined up so it catches the whole nest, but especially the front of the nest. A lot of times the delivery will be uh, directly to the front edge of the nest. If you could see what I see right now, we got a gopher snake and a jackrabbit head looking right at me, right on the front of the nest. And then Chick is back in the nest just a little bit, three week old, all white, fuzzy, golden eagle Chick. Out in the field, other research is going on as part of the same study. Pairs of scientists do nighttime counts. They're identifying golden eagle prey. They're looking for eye shine and counting numbers of individuals of various prey on specified survey routes. In the meantime, the nest cams are clicking away. There's 7,166 photos taken. So it should be some pretty good ones. You know, each nest we capture anywhere from maybe 1,000 to 15,000 photos. When the nesting season's over, we've gathered all our, our cameras from all the nest locations we have. We go back into the office and we look through all those thousands of pictures, close to a million pictures uh, over two years. We've captured somewhere between 700 and 800 prey deliveries. Okay, another chuck wall. Then that comes in on the same date at 1328, and it's whole as well. Prey numbers and type vary from nest to nest across the Mojave. Black-tailed jackrabbits and cottontails and different types of reptiles. These data are combined with the ground available prey counts to create a prey availability habitat model that shows potential golden eagle prey across the Mojave Desert. The work is identifying which areas in the Mojave Desert are most important for golden eagle survival. Knowing that solar installations will completely replace natural habitats wherever they're installed means that careful consideration must go into siting these new solar developments. The USGS Prey Availability Habitat Model can be used for choosing good sites for solar with the least impact on golden eagles. It's providing a clear picture of the best options for alternative energy and the future of the golden eagle. Okay, I'm done. And so, on to climb to the next golden eagle nest.